Hi, my name is Dual Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on bin number two. This is a 10 gallon tote. It's been 15 days since my last update, and we have the 10 gallon tote with the lid on top and then the uh, plastic bag underneath to sort of hold that moisture right by the surface. So, we're going to take a look and see how it's doing, see if it needs food, and uh, you know, probably add some more. If it's, even if it's close to being uh, gone, we'll probably add some more. If it's still a lot there, we'll leave it and we'll let it go for a little bit longer. But let's go and take a look. All right, here we are with bin number two. Today's date of 518, so 15 days. And let's take a look here. Of course, no moisture on the top here, not surprising. We do have a little spider crawling along, or a couple spiders crawling along over here. So they do get in the, into your systems at times. You can really see them right on the edge over there. Um, he's crawling around like crazy, but uh, they do get in your systems. I don't really worry about them that much. It just means that there might've been some bugs that they needed to take care of. And actually there's a little fruit fly coming out of there, which worries me a little bit, but Overall, I'm not too concerned. So let's flip this over and take a look. Overall, not bad. Looks like there's some stuff on the, you know, stuff stuck there. It shows that the moisture is staying near the, the surface. And I just got stuff all over my hands. That's all right, let's grab my glove and let's take a look here. So I'm guessing we fed in the center section this last time. So let's take a look and see how, uh, my hands stuck in my glove. Let's take a look over here real quick and just see how this looks. So this is getting really moist, this material in here. I think we're gonna to have to let this dry out a little bit. Having that um, plastic over the top just holds all the moisture, but look how well, look, how, look at the worm counts in here. I mean, like the, the worm counts are really ridiculous in this bin. I mean, like it's doing really well. It's much more moist than expected because of that plastic right on top, but the worms really seem to, to thrive in that I have found when the bins are this moist. So you can see right here, I mean, you can just see, I mean, this, as you open this up, you just see more and more worms as you go. This one, it looks like there's still some food left in here. So we might not need to add food this time. You know, we've got banana peels, the label on the banana is still there. So it looks like we might not need to add food. I don't really wanna overfeed these bins too much. And this definitely feels way too moist. Now, this bin is fairly new comparatively and actually doesn't have a lot of material in it, so I think I am gonna add some paper to this, um, which I haven't done on my bins in a while, um, because this one's new enough where I can just add some paper and it's not gonna be a big deal and mix it in here and just dry this out a little bit with the paper, because that's gonna absorb some of that moisture, give it somewhere to go. And as I said, this one's really not that full, so it's not like I'm adding too much, it's not gonna be too much of an issue for them to, to deal with that so we're gonna add some paper. This was not expected, by the way. I did not think I'd be adding paper to this, but that's okay. Um, let's just dig over here to this corner. You can see, I mean, it's just still, even the, in these corners where, you know, we didn't feed, there's tons of springtails in here. You can see them hopping around and just tons of worms. So this bin's doing very well. It's just the, and actually, here we go. There's a cocoon right there. I'm not sure you can see it really well or not. But there's a cocoon right there. So that's a good sign. They're really multiplying in here. Even though there's lots of worms, it's a great sign when you see cocoons. There's another one too, another cocoon. Just grab this one right there. Tease it out for you. So you can see there's the cocoon right there. Oop, that just fell off my hand. But you know, they, they really, uh, this bin is doing really well and the cocoon production is actually a lot higher than other bins that I have. Even though they're not finishing all the food, it just seems like there's a lot more worms in here than bin number one. So I don't know if that's because of the uh, the moisture content being so high or the fact that the, uh, the bag is right over the top. I'm not sure exactly what's causing that, but this looks like it's doing really, really well. You can just, the material, as I said, the material is just a little bit too wet, I think, but uh, there's springtail, and there's springtails everywhere. I'm sure you can see them hopping, at least I think you can. But they're all over this bin, which is probably why the uh, spiders were in there, you know, because they, they can eat those. Let's just dig right down here in the center. So as you can see, there's that banana peel again. Let's check out over here. You can just see, I mean, there's they're just a lot of worms in here. Every, almost everywhere you look, there's there's worms. This this bin's doing really really well. Now I think we are going to add a little bit of food, but just not a whole lot. Normally we'd add a, you know an entire section or something like that, but I don't think we're going to do that. I think what we're going to do first off we're going to bury this back down underneath. 
because we want to keep those uh, peels near the bottom and everything. And what we're going to do here is we're going to dig back over on this side over here, move this shirt out of the way, and we're going to add in a, a feeding of food over here to this side. So let's see if I can grab some food out of my uh, frozen section right here. Some coffee grounds. And a couple bananas and some clementine. I think that's good. I don't want to add too much here. You know, I really don't want to tremendously overfeed them. And we still need to cover this up with some of this material over here first real quick. Because we're going to need this to, to make sure that it stays covered. And also we're going to want, want the worms in that area too. So we're going to cover that up just like that. We're going to take this, we're going to spread this cardboard out over the top. This is going to absorb some of that moisture as it goes up and hits the barrier above it. It's going to get this cardboard nice and wet. And that will keep this going really well hopefully. So I think that's my update for this week. So we added a little bit of food. We didn't add any of the uh, crushed or eggshell or crab shell this time. And you know we're just going to try to let this dig in a little bit. But we, we as I said, we're actually going to add a little bit more paper to this. I think we can. You know it's just, this bin is, is a lot newer than the other bins even though it's been going for almost a year. You know it's, uh, it's one of those things where you can build these up a little higher. It still doesn't weigh too much. And those, these castings will become a little bit more compressed. The key is, is that eventually we're going to have to let this dry out and we're going to have to make sure that we don't put in any more cardboard or anything so that way it can dry out. So that's my update. If you have questions, please let me know. If you have thoughts about this bin, in the, please let me know in the comments as well. Now let's put this cover back on and close this up. So we're going to put this on, this cover back on again because we put the cardboard in. This way the moisture again, as I said, will hit that this barrier right here and just kind of cycle back down on top of the cardboard and get that all wet. So that's it. And thank you for watching. And again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And uh, if you have any suggestions also for other, other topics to cover, let me know down below if you have anything that you would like to see. I'm always trying to find new ideas of uh, content to bring to all my viewers here. So thank you for watching.